Hey everyone, this is QA Shahin and today we are going to continue where we left off in the last video and we're going to look at the basic script that we wrote and try to understand a little bit more about what is happening and what is going on. So the agenda for this video is exceptionally simple. We're just going to go through the script and we're going to keep the focus on that for now. So if you remember, this was the script that we wrote in the last video. Before we actually go through the script, let's just make sure that it is still working. So to do this, I'm going to make sure that I'm in the directory which contains the script. And I'm just going to run that file. So it was node followed by the name of the file which is test.js and I'm just going to run this. Okay, great. So it looks like it worked. So our script works and that's great. But what we really need to do for the moment is to understand what is happening and why we've kind of taken this really simple approach of just writing three lines of code and trying to figure out what is going on. So let's take the first line for now. What is happening here? Require, and then we have an open bracket followed by Selenium web driver, close bracket, and then a semicolon. So in this video, I am going to assume that JavaScript is something that's fairly new to you, because I think that is probably the best approach to take. So for someone who knows more than enough about JavaScript, Maybe you'd want to skip ahead to the next video because this video is going to be designed for those who are trying to understand how to use WebDriver.js as well as trying to understand the whole JavaScript syntactical sugar and stuff. So first of all, what is this? What is require? Require is a keyword in JavaScript that allows us to import in something that we have imported. So remember, if we go back to the previous video where we did a npm install, what npm install did was it made this particular library available to us in our local root directory where we're running this script from. And when we say require, what this essentially does is this pulls in that dependency which we installed and makes it available for use. Now, if we take this side of the equation, what is happening here? So in JavaScript, when we use the keyword var, there are other keywords which we may get into in future videos. But for the moment, when we use the following keyword var, what var does is it allows us to identify and almost announce that I want to create a variable. And a variable is similar to saying a container. It is something that contains something else. So by saying var web driver, what we're basically saying is I want to create a variable called web driver. And at some point I want to put something into this variable. We'll get into why you would want to put something in a variable in a second. So if we now take this full line of code, what we're basically saying is I want to create a variable and I want to call it web driver and inside this web driver I want to place everything that I've downloaded as part of Selenium web driver. So in short what is happening here is I've downloaded this dependency from somewhere. This doesn't do the downloading. All this does is so this line specifically, it doesn't do any of the downloading. It just assumes there's an instance or there's a downloaded module somewhere on your computer and it tries to pull it in. So in this case, we downloaded this in the previous video. So when this pulls in that particular dependency, it then places it inside this container or inside this variable. So this variable now called WebDriver now contains all the stuff that we downloaded from Selenium WebDriver. Moving on. 
So what is happening here? So let's let's get rid of this bit first because we've already talked about it. This is basically a new variable called driver and everything on the right side of the equal sign whatever this does this is now doing some magic and that magic is then being stored into this variable so let's figure out what is happening here so the first thing we come across is this new keyword what does this mean well we'll get to this in a second because it's going to be a little bit easier to understand once we understand what's happening here so web driver where is web driver coming from the first thing we do is say new web driver so web driver is coming from here so this is where if you remember we said that we want to put a copy of all the stuff that we downloaded into web driver when we then begin to use web driver we can effectively access those things that we downloaded so what are these things that I keep on referring to? When we did a require download, these things are effectively the methods which come as part of Selenium WebDriver. So when we do something like WebDriver dot, this dot then gives us access to all the methods which come as part of Selenium WebDriver. So when we put in the dot, we get to access a method called the builder method. The builder method allows us to build a driver instance so this is the thing that will build us a driver so when we call build again build just like web driver when you say web driver dot it gives you access to all the methods that web driver can now access when we do a dot on builder that too returns all the methods and functions that it can call to do whatever it does so in this instance when we say builder dot this gives us access to this method called with capabilities the with capabilities is a function that allows us to identify a specific browser that we want to use as part of creating a driver instance and in this case what we're using is again we're calling web driver which has another method called capabilities which allows us to identify a browser which in this case is Chrome so what I've just said is a massive mouthful so let's take a second to understand what's happening here we say web driver dot which gives us access to the builder we then say builder dot which gives us access to a method called with capabilities which in turn takes in a parameter and in the parameter we effectively say what is the browser type we're going to use and in this instance it is Chrome once we do all of that we then call one final method which is dot build and this effectively takes all of this stuff and creates an instance of it it creates an actual driver so now coming back to new what is basically happening here is that this is returning a driver and this is returning a new driver so to be a little bit more specific what this line of code is now doing is returning us a driver which will run in Chrome so there's a lot that's happening here in this single line and it can seem a little complicated but once we use this a couple of times and we will revisit this line again and again and again to play around with capabilities this will become very straightforward so for the moment the only thing you really need to understand is this is returning us a new driver which will run in chrome and it is then storing that driver inside this driver variable now if we look at the final line driver dot get so we've briefly talked about this get this this full stop this period sign all this allows us to do is to call all the methods which can be accessed as part of using it in some variable or some method or some function so in this instance when you say driver dot it gives us access to all the methods which are now stored in driver and remember driver is getting all the methods from this new driver instance so when we say dot get get is a function that navigates to a url so when we say driver dot get this is the same as saying hey chrome browser 
go to this URL and it then goes to this URL. And that's it. There's nothing really more complicated than that. So what have we done in this video? So this video was basically a very simple video where we really didn't write any code. This was purely about trying to understand the lines that we've written so far because it is fundamental. You do understand them since we're going to use them continuously as part of any feature video in this series. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next one.